Gotta save a file out. And actually what I used to do when I worked at Gridlam was that whenever I had to send a file out to somebody, I would actually give them three different files. Three different files. I would give them the native file I was working in, so Fusion 360. I would give them an IGIS and I would give them a stack. I would give them all three. And the reason I did that was because, well, first of all, everybody seems to have their favorite when it comes to, to IGIS and stack files. Like you talk to one guy and he's like, IGIS is the best. And then you talk to the next guy and he's like, no, step is the best. Um, and the only difference really is um, that they were just created kind of like two different formats. And sometimes um, you will actually like see, again, because it's a translation file, so uh, it's like translating a language that sometimes the IGES file would bring in a better result than, for example, uh, a step file. Um, the funny thing about the funny thing about uh, the question um, about IGES and, and step, just if you want to nerd out a little bit, um, IGES was created by the U.S. Air Force in 1980. Um, they brought in like some big companies like Xerox, GE, General Motors. <coughs> Uh, because they had an issue that people were using different CAD software and they needed a neutral format that everybody could open up. So they came out with, with the IGES. It's actually done on the old punch card. I don't know if anybody are old enough to be in production with the punch cards. But in theory, if you open up an IGES file and you sit down with a pen and paper, you can actually trace the, uh, the part because it gives you the coordinates for it. Um, STAB <coughs> was created a few years later. Um, it's ISO, so it's Europe, the European uh, standard. They did it to replace IGES, um, but they never, they never, never succeeded. They thought they were going to make one STAB file, but actually, if you go and look today, there's different versions of STAB files. So if you go into a CAD system today, you maybe see that there's a version 202, 214. Uh, of different uh, step files. It doesn't really matter for CAD. It was more because they did one for the car industry, they did one for like um, electrical and things, things like that. So, um, but I, like I said, I would normally give them both and then they could figure it out themselves which one they wanted, uh, they wanted to, to, to bring in.